kicked out. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry, I did talk here last year on track two. It was peopley. It's going to be peopley again. Um, I'm a senior lecturer here at the university in cybersecurity. I'm going to use the C word a lot. Deal with it. I'm not going to call it infosec. It's what people know it as. Uh, before being a lecturer, though, I've worked for a lot of different companies. I've tricked some into sponsoring here before I quit. Um, so I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Uh, because I'm a lecture, I'm going to start with some stats and a little quiz. Very simple, though. Who can tell me what is 7.5 billion? These are all stats from 2018. Number of people on Earth. Yes. World population. Easy one. There's not many numbers at 7.5 billion. Um, this is from the US Census. This was June, July last year. 5.09 billion. Reach data records. Oh, spot on. And that is the best guess because no one really knows. Some people say it's a little bit lower. Some people say it's a bit higher. They spell somewhere in the middle. And the last one, 6 million. Ooh. Not great because you know. No one? How many people work in cybersecurity worldwide? Not a lot. So to picture this as the whole whiteboard, the whole whiteboard was 7.5 billion up to about here is how many breach records there are. And you are this little sicker down in the corner. <laughs> there's not many of us. Sounds like a lot. If you put us all together, it'd be quite a lot. But there's not a lot there, really. And that gives us this problem. There's a lot of people. Everyone's got different experiences, different backgrounds. Everyone's using tech now. There's more phones and tech devices than there are people on the planet. We have fucking loads of breaches, and they're not getting any better. There's always something new. And there's not many of us. Roughly 0.08% of the world population. So that's why there's loads of jobs going. Um, stats are really bad on the numbers working in security, but you can find numbers really easy off the gap in cybersecurity skills in 2020, 2030. They just make up numbers all the time. It's been as low as a million, as high as five million I've seen. So there's not many of us. So we make up this tiny, tiny percentage. And sometimes we aren't nice to people. So if someone's throwing a picture of Scott Helm in the urinal, use that information as you want. He's been mentioned several times now, so he might appear. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> SSL3, SSL3, SSL3. <laughs> he will appear eventually. Um, and we get people doing things like this. So, Werner is the CTO for Amazon. And at AWS Summit, there's always that idiot that will click the link. And I'm sure everyone here has said that about someone. Or thought it. Probably not done it in front of millions of people watching their videos and the head of one of the largest companies. Groundbreaking research for you. Calling people idiots doesn't work. It just pisses them off, and they ignore you. That's the problem we have in security. We've had it for years. We call people idiots. Oh, they don't have a fucking clue what they're doing. Take all the computers off them. I think I've said that to my mum before. I still wish to do. I still get tech support calls. And that's why I got you to all stand up. You're all clued up people. You've all got at least an interest in security, or you work in security. Uh, and I'm here at the front. I'm authoritative because I'm stood up and I have a lanyard. I've got a camera on me. And you just did what I said. People are going to listen to Werner and think they're idiots. People aren't idiots. Some can act like idiots, but there's a better way of wording it. With the world's best photoshopping skills. <laughs> I'm hoping this is what he meant. There's always a person that will make a mistake. And we all make mistakes. That's what clicking a link is. They're designed for you to click on it and catch you off guard. Carl Gottlieb admitted to nearly clicking on one in his first talk. And he's a DPO and does all this stuff and knows it really well. Um, he is an idiot, though. He is an idiot, though, because <laughs> he's DPO. <laughs> Anyone who likes GDPR, I guess he likes the paycheck from the GDPR. I'd quite like that. <laughs> but, you know, that's someone who is a senior management figure. I think that's how he'd probably describe himself. Uh, <laughs> probably describe himself a little bit more grandiose than that. But that's the thing. People will make mistakes. And our job is to help them make fewer mistakes. 
that's all we're doing through implementation of technology, through training, through hopefully not the crappy training of hammer through the slides and get to the end um, that no one looks at. But that's our job. We help people along, make fewer mistakes. One of my problems with my job is if I fuck up, I've got 340 people every couple of years that make, <laughs> make mistakes. Now, I'm confident I know what I'm doing because the people we keep sending placement students to keep taking them. So <laughs> I'm pretty confident I know what I'm doing. But people will make mistakes. Second thing, take away. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. And the rest of us. Learners act like a dick to everyone. People, if that's their only interaction with someone in technology, they're going to assume we're all dicks. Uh, did anyone come across DVAP before? Don't be a dick. It's pretty straightforward. I think that should just be a HR policy. Just one line, yeah, four letters. DVAP. Done. That's what it comes down to. If you ask, just ask yourself that. Some people are just dicks and won't realise they're being dicks. Um, if anyone's wondering, yes, my lectures are this sweary. <laughs> it has not changed. Um, but keep that in mind. What you say towards people will impact their view of everyone in the industry. And the last one, stay humble. We all knew nothing at some point. I don't know anyone that was born being a security rock star they got everything some people definitely think they have some people forget easy to forget but we all knew nothing at some point um, I like to in the past at least dig at developers I worked in QA so I obviously hate developers because they're all idiots and all make mistakes <laughs> but a lot of them they're getting forced to ship code that they probably don't want to ship either they're getting down with pressure because we need to make the money because we've just been bought out and spent loads of money. Um, <laughs> I've been on that side as well. Oh, oh, we've just spent millions. Oh, shit, we need to make that again. Um, so these people who probably do want to help you um, but are just getting pressured themselves. Um, some of them won't know anything about security. Some will. Bit of a mix. We've got some in here. I know developers um, who've done some scary stuff. Um, but this, for me, is what it's all about. Remember this, and you won't go wrong in security, ever. Just think they've probably not been told that they need to sanitise their inputs. It's easy if you've been at it a while to think, oh, everyone knows that. But at some point, people don't know that. And then we end up with bad systems. And then you get the occasional cocky person who knows better than everyone, because we've always done it that way. I've done it that way for 20 years. There's definitely some people like that here today. And that's why I no longer work for them. <laughs> um, but keep this in mind. That's all I wanted to say. Um, you can find me on Twitter. It is just my name. It's very easy. If you want students for places or graduates, I have business cards. Because I'm apparently allowed to have business cards now. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but I am. Um, any questions? Just speak to me in the bar. That's the best thing. <laughs> and then freeze the time for one of you. Yeah.